They'll be calling you a radical. We got some big, big news. And you don't think I'm going to be the first question up for her? Oh, yeah, this is my place. This is our place. But anyway, we got huge, huge, giant breaking news. Ken Bucketfuck Buzer has come out with his data. You know, he's done his crowdfunding. Now, of course, he caveats it. No alarm, but here it is. His own, even the shill himself, even their propaganda. Here it is. Here it is. What more do you people want? What more do you people? I, I will give Ken credit. I'm going to give Ken credit where Ken is due. You know, I've been very critical of him, go after him, but, you know, I do this, not this. And I, I'll give Ken credit. You know, he's out there doing the work. You know, so he says there are no agencies of studies or agencies, government. Now, you think about this. Think about this. No, you know how many billions and trillions of dollars we fund to Cal Berkeley, to Oregon State, to University of Oregon, to San Diego State's marine biologist departments, taxpayer funded money, marine biology. I've pro at Scripps, I've protested on every one of those places, every one of those places since post Fukushima. Other news, there's major, major news breaking. I'm glad because I wanted to get this up. That's Tuesday on Weber State University. I'll be the first question up. Olene Walker Foundation, by the way, Olene Walker's mom was my second grade teacher. She's one of the reasons I am a hardcore anti nuclear activist. They'll let me have a speaking part. But we have other big breaking news out besides, this is huge, the Ken Buser study, it's huge. there it is. Now, why season 134? What the, we know how short the half-life is, so they can't blame it on background, they can't blame it on the bikini atolls, they can't blame it. No, it's from Fukushima. You know, we've been right the entire time. You know, the people that have attacked us, whatever, I mean, this has been a hard walk. You know, full of leukemia, walking this walk, telling this tale. This is a major, major story as far as what is happening with Fukushima. Now, there's going to be plenty more studies to come. The other breaking news, now you love how they picked this date, October 27th. Now you do know October 27, 1962 was the Cuban Missile Crisis day that this nuke world almost came to an end, nuclear. The San Onofre here, shutdown hearings are in Carlsbad, so I guess I'll be taking a road trip. You know, I'm showing up to that. You know, I'll drive, whatever. I'm going to that Carlsbad. Lori lives right there. She'll be there, the great activist. We'll be out in front passing out, you know, information and data on, look, San Onofre is the biggest creep liars in the history of the nuclear industry, and that's saying a lot. We caught PG&E lying under oath to the NRC. Those are felonies. Barbara Bachter, who's head of the committee, you've heard her going off. They requested documentation. I've been working with her office. I'm, you know, I put in phone calls there just now, requesting statements, depositions. Now, let's remember, the NRC is not, they do not have congressional power. None. They have no congressional power. None. The NRC is refusing to turn over to a Congress committee chair. You know what kind of power under the Constitution a Congress committee chair wields? Congress wields incredible power. This is the NRC. They're saying Patriot Act, Patriot Act, wow. These are big, big stories. Uh, also, you know, everybody's all wound up about the stock market, whatever. Don't you love Yahoo is now hired, and Bloomberg, I think, has hired Ken Baja, or excuse me, Henry. Henry is their expert. You do know he was in prison for market manipulation. Spitzer took him down. Well, we know what they did to Spitzer. You know, same thing. So. This is a big, big story. Buser studies out. He's going to present it November 13th. I plan on being there. I'm going to be there. And, you know, I've been very critical of Ken, you know, bucket fuck Buser, but, you know, I'm very cordial. I'll be very diplomatic with him. We'll have a very good conversation, he and I, together. But this is a big story. But, of course, he's got a caveat. Oh, there's none on the beach. Don't be alarmed. Oh, is she going to get an earful of me on Tuesday? So, that's November the 13th, Ken's going to present his data. We need to be there. Look, and when you're in here, you've seen me, Mike Lee, Governor Herbert, all these things. We can be very diplomatic. We can be strong and be very diplomatic. We don't have to be psycho cases at them and to them. We can call them out. Megan Rice taught us how. Megan Rice, what she said. 
inside the courtroom to Timothy, the prosecutor. I will quote her. And to the judge. This is how she does it. This is how elegant and perfect she is. Sarcasm on Balco. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, the Justice Department. Thank you, the Department of Energy. Thank all of you for incarcerating an 85-year-old peace activist on Pete Seeger's The Day He Died. Thank you for charging me as a terrorist and holding me in a federal detention facility for seven months that's built to hold for two weeks of 57 degrees and almost killing me. Thank you. I want to thank you all so much. Thank you for doing that to it. 85-year-old peace activist nun charging me as a common terrorist. Thank you. Thank you. So when I get out, I have something else to protest. The industrialized prison complex. That's how we'll do it. You know, this is big data, Kent. You know? Am I taking back everything I said about Kent? No, part of it, though. I'm taking back part of it. Okay, Ken, I take back half of what I said about you. Just half, but... We'll see how it plays out, but give credit where credit's due. He says it's not on the beach. Well, I don't know about that. We do know for a fact, Ken's name's on this study right here. His name's on this study. So I have the data from day three, right here. Day three, right here. In Sacramento. As we have the data right here, as seven months later I got leukemia. A lot of people did. We know it was in the jet stream. Right here, day three. We know that Radnet was crashed. We know that Linda Jackson, oh, he, she works for Apple now, is head of the EPA. Oh, we know that Gina McCarthy was head of Radnet. Oh, now she's head of the EPA. Who's Linda Jackson work for now? Oh, Apple. Slavery. It's outrageous. Oh, yeah, wait till Apple's numbers Monday. They report Monday. Wait till you see this. Whoa. You want to talk about stock market analysis, wait till you see this number to blow your freaking eyeballs out of your head. That a couple, Well, what do you expect when they don't have to pay any taxes? They cheat the tax code. They cheat the tax. Steve Chinese jobs. It's incredible irony. And they use slaves for employees. <laughs> wow. So this is a big, big story. So I'll probably just drive down to Carlsbad. I'll be there the 27th. This is going to be a big deal. We Come on. We caught the PG and executive, why I was in critical condition. A lot of stuff leaked to me in the hospital at LDS, lying to the NRC. Now I'm gonna bring it right up to her. We caught them lying. Those are felonies. We want them in prison. They shut down Santa Barbara. I said, we're gonna hit the beach, we're gonna hit the beach. They want no part of uh, open hearings. They want no part of a court testimony. By the way, Janet, we're still waiting 54 days and counting USS Reagan. We're not going away. We know how you play. You know, try to sneak it through. You know, our investigative journalist team, we have this data lock, stock, barrel. We have it backed up in multiple places all over. We'll blow this whole thing out of the water. Give us an inch, we're going to take 100 miles, and we're going to kick the door down until we get an inch. Million Mass Man the 5th, but I'll show up to Buesler's gig on the 13th. Very excited about this. And like I said, I'll give credit where it's credit's due. You know, he did the work. Here's the data, season 134. Offshore, <laughs> well let me tell you something, Ken and the rest of you, fish swim. Japanese current moves, the California current moves. You cannot draw a line one place there, it's, it's not just there. <laughs> Put a ruppy ducky in at Fukushima, Japan, it'll make it to San Diego in five days, maybe four. So we know that. It's not a bathtub, it's not a bathtub. Here's the data, big story, big story. Carlsbad, the 27th. And we can redo in front of the church again with our pitchfork. You know, American toxic. It's right across the street from it's where it's at. Ken's gonna report report his data the 13th. Very excited about it. Like I said, so this plays out. Stand tuned. Oh, is she gonna get an earful from me?